uh, my name is Sam Taylor and this is my colleague Aurelie Owens. Uh, we're both learning technologists as part of Cranfield University. However, we have two campuses, so one up in Bedfordshire that has Blackboard and maybe Pebblepad in the near future. However, we have Moodle and Mahara. So just a quick sort of idea of the kind of environment that we work in. We work in an MOD base. Each morning we're greeted normally by police, an armed soldier, a big scary dog. We all have to have special passes. All of our students are postgraduate and the majority of them are studying part-time MSCs and each of the modules, well most of the modules are, are available as short course um, credit as well. Um, the module we're talking about is uh, the Systems Engineering Workshop, uh, part of the MSc in Systems Engineering for Defence Capability. Um, the, um, as part of the students' brief, um, sorry, Chloe. <laughs> um, they are building mini robots out of Lego to detect threat packages and supply packages, and it's all made out of Lego. So they're looking at the systems design and actually hands-on designing um, Lego robots as part of the module. Yeah, and if you want to find out more, the academic who delivers the course has created a page all about what he does with the students. So these, we will make these slides available to you. Um, um, this is um, Paul Adams, the academic looking after the module um, and uh, the brief of the portfolio. Um, he came to us asking for help. Uh, how do I make the module more interesting? Um, the students are getting low grades. Uh, what can we do to improve this module? Uh, so we looked at um, how could we can use an online collaborative space as opposed to just Word documents submitted to a Tanitin assignments, um, which were flat and uninspiring. There you go. <laughs> so we completely, we started from scratch. We looked at the assignment brief, we looked at the existing content, and we thought, okay, how else can we do this? So there's the three different environments that we, um, we looked at for this module. So obviously, we've got Moodle. It is the linchpin. It is the springboard where all the resources sit. So very much the academic is in control of this Moodle platform. So the pre-course activity, so the students get six weeks access before the, course, the module starts. So they have things they have to do in Moodle before they come onto campus. Um, there's the single sign-on links into the Mahara environment. There's the submission points using Turnitin. And there's hidden links to each student's e-portfolio page. And then in the Mahara side, um, this is pretty much the student space. So it's the student group where they can come together and see all the bespoke resources that we as learning technologists have built for them. Um, they have their own special, separate group spaces to work together in. Um, they're each given a, te a template in their Mahara, and uh, the resources were created for us specifically for that course as well. And then, of course, Turnitin, we use it the same as pretty much everywhere else. However, in this instance, the students would submit one, uh, one portfolio on behalf of the rest of their group. So just very quickly, the timeline of events and the way the different systems work together. So the pre-course activity, so this is the six weeks prior to the week-long module working. Um, the students carry out pre-course activities that are provided to them via Moodle. They go into Mahara and they do a little bit of work. The reason why we get them to do this is because with single sign-on, the student Mahara accounts don't get generated until they go into Mahara, which means we can't allocate them groups until they've generated their accounts. It's a bit backwards, but it's the only way we've got, thing we've got at the moment. Um, and yeah, so we put them into their groups. At the very beginning of the module, so they come in, so it's only a week, um, they are given a 15 minute sort of Mahara demo, what you're expected to do. However, it was meant to be a 50 minute hands-on induction, but the IT in the MOD is not very um, reliable. reliable, so we couldn't <laughs> run an induction, so it was just a very quick demo. Um, yeah, so Moodle was used as the hub where all the st uh, staff resources are, so all the lecture slides, and then Mahara was used as the workbook um, within the group. And then at the end, the students would save their Mahara page as a PDF, export it, and submit it to turn it in for grading. And then the, the academics would grade the papers and provide the feedback, and then the students could download the grade mark forms and then share that within the uh, Mahara forum. 
Um, this is the uh, page that uh, we um, created to have the whole of the group. So at the bottom, you can see all the members of the, all the students as part of the group. Um, they were added during the pre-activity. So we managed to get them all to do the pre-activity during the six weeks added them to this page, and then added them to their individual group pages. On here, we've got the links to the, f to the forum for the course, but also the Get Started Now page, which is basically their help files, their help, help page. And this is what it looks like when they click on that green button. Um, it's a bespoke um, support page that um, Sam created for this module. Um, it includes a downloadable, downloadable checklist with what they need to achieve to build their portfolio um, and examples of live pages as well. Um, it has steps to compiling their page, so um, it's got expandable sections with help uh, they can um, um, dip into when they need, and um, how to export the Mahara portfolio as a PDF so they can submit as well. Uh, this page here is uh, one of the groups that uh, we chose to, to show you. It's got, again, the students at the bottom. They've got their task uh, detailed with quick links as well and uh, a forum to communicate uh, when they're not face-to-face because -face, they've got a lot of face-to-face -face time during the group, but they also have the option to use the forum. And finally, here is the template that we gave them. So we, we gave all the groups the same template and they chose to customize or not the, the template. Um, and it, this is what they started with. So um, each group had a completely different approach to using the ePortfolio. So um, to begin with, they all have the same incident room. So each of the three groups had a classroom. Um, you go in there, there's Lego in one corner, there's wires and cables in another corner, there's all the IT in another and um, they used it as their incident room where they could test everything and record everything. Um, every group had their Mahara page open on the main projector, so everybody could see all the aims and objectives in front of them and they knew what, exactly what it is they were trying to achieve in that session. Um, and all students said that they were able to contribute to it in lots of different ways, which was really, really great. However, when it actually came to using the Mahara platform, they had different approaches. So one group had just one Mahara editor that sat at the computer and typed everything up and uploaded all the pictures for everybody. Another group had two that would do like tag team, so one would go and play with the Lego. As they play, they're building robots. It's not playing, really. They're learning. But um, one would be um, on the computer, the other one would be doing Lego, and then they swap. And then the other group, they all jumped on to the computer as and when they had an idea, and it was very, very, um, very exciting to watch actually as you go around the rooms watching them and just so you can see these are the three different robots that they made um, they're very very pretty they're really cool and uh, yeah they had a lot of fun but they were learning it's a master's program so you remember the template we showed you yeah no um, they didn't like it at all they thought it was you know too, const too constrained um, what they wanted is to have a long continuous word document you know, but at least it's a, a Word document that they can edit themselves, um, it's live, it's, it's there, they can access it on lots of different platforms at the same time, um, they can embed video, they can do all sorts with it, but pretty much every single pay, every single group had a long, long scrolling page of death like this. Um, what they did like as well is that they could actually embed their videos so that you couldn't do that in a Word document, you couldn't do that in a paper file to hand, so it gave them um, an opportunity to share other types of media. So, like, if you're not um, used to Mahara or no Mahara, you can sort of embed PDFs into the page, you can upload files, all those sorts of things in an actual page. So the students, um, when I actually spoke to them, so I went around the different incident rooms and spoke to them, um, they felt that the pre-tasks were too easy, that they didn't need a demonstration at the start of the module. They would be very happy if I just gave them sort of an hour activity where they could go in, construct a page themselves, they'll know then how it all works. So they didn't actually need me at all, which was a shame. Um, <laughs> I quite, quite enjoyed mine. Um, they found it really, really easy to add text and images. Um, if you've never used it, it's just drag and drop, really simple. Um, and they loved the files area in a group because they could all upload their content and then at the end they can review and add all the stuff that they wanted into the page. Um, and they're also very grateful to be able to show videos and other media capt captured during the testing phase. So they get the phones out, record everything, chuck it up there, which you can't do on a bit of paper. 
Five minutes? We need four, that's all right. <laughs> um, they found that the group review was easy. Because it was there open in front of them, they could all contribute and add to it. Whereas before, they'd all have their own laptops, write up their own notes, print it off, chuck it into a folder, and it just looked like five different people's bits of work rather than one piece of work. Um, the Atto editor, there was a couple of issues, but it's probably to do with our system rather than the editor because it does work in other places. But we know about that so we can fix it. They, they asked, can they not use Turnitin? Um, because, Please. yeah, and you know, we'd love it if they didn't have to use Turnitin. So um, they, were, they felt that they were restricted to that one page. They would love to be able to use the functionality in Mahara, like the different pages in the collection. They'd love to be able to add more media and build their own HTML blocks to put in there, but they, you couldn't do it. Well, they could have done it. But they, they could have done it, but they were concerned that their um, lecturers wouldn't bother looking in the live one. They'd only look at the whatever has been submitted to turn it in. So it's not an option yet, but we'd like it to happen. Um, the feedback from staff was uh, very positive. Um, they believed that the output was of better quality uh, from all the students. Uh, they liked the fact that they had the secret URLs to look at the actual pages, which was the fear of the students. So they, there was no fear to have for the students, but obviously it was the first time they used that. Um, they found some issues with the embedded PDF and videos, obviously, because in Turnity you can't open links and videos, so they have to go back to um, the URLs. Um, but um, we've had a, a brilliant email from, from the member of staff um, actually saying we managed to do something which wasn't possible before. So thanks to the integration of the three systems, we actually managed to improve the collaborative um, work of the students, which is um, brilliant. Yeah. So that is it, that's us, that's also us, you can find us on Twitter. Um, obviously questions aren't now, but we know that this is the Moodle conference, not Mahara one, so we don't want to bog down the questions with questions about Mahara, but we are very happy to answer them afterwards. So I'll finish there. Thank you. Thank you.